When I drink these, I, I really, since it's the first, uh, <laughs> welcome back to Master Your Glass with me, Livio Lauro. I am excited about this series because I am drinking an Epcot. If you're not familiar with Epcot, it is in Disney World Orlando, Florida, where there are 14 pavilions. Each one of them represents a country, and of course, each one of those has a drink or two that is representative of that country. What I am doing is I am going to taste those drinks, and then I am bringing that knowledge here to Las Vegas, Nevada at my bar at home, and I'm gonna teach you how to make that drink the same, or maybe even better. So, Stick with me, let's do this. In this series of traveling Epcot, I am in Canada, and on this episode, I'm gonna show you how I make the frozen cola and the Ottawa apple. Let's get into it. Okay, here we are in Epcot, and we are headed to our first stop. Uh, which is the uh, Canadian uh, Pavilion or the country of Canada. Now we were told to do it the opposite way, which is why we are starting in Canada instead of starting in Mexico, uh, because it was highly recommended that we finish the day with some tequila and some margaritas. So here we are walking up to the uh, popcorn cart in Canada. Now on the menu, uh, besides having some really cool Moosehead beers, and La Fin du Monde, and uh, some apricot wheat beer. We actually saw this drink called the Ottawa Apple, which we ordered. And uh, in addition, on a side little table tent, there was this frozen uh, crown and cola, uh, which we're also gonna make today. Since this is the first edition of this series, I do wanna preface what I'm doing here. And in essence, I took a taste of these two drinks. I made a mental memory of what they taste like. And now here we are in my bar making them here. To make the Ottawa apple, you take this cup. And of course I took these plastic cups actually from Disney. So they are Disney plastic cups. Um, I just cleaned out the glass that I had or the cup that I used. I'm going to fill it up with ice. And then in the shaker, of course, I'm also adding the ice. And I'm going to add one and a half ounces of Crown Royal maple. Uh, then to that, I am adding a half an ounce of apple puree. And in this case, I used Real. Uh, I will leave a link to this product in the description here so you can uh, purchase it. And then last but not least, I put in three and a half ounces of cranberry juice. I just gave this a shake and strained it over uh, that ice into that plastic cup and easy peasy and ready to go. The next drink I um, am going to make here is of course that frozen crown and cola. In order to make the frozen crown and cola, the first thing you have to do of course is freeze the cola. Now they have a machine there, of course I'm assuming at home you don't just like I do. So in order to freeze the cola, I went and I bought a little better cola brand, Fever Tree, and uh, I uh, put it inside of this Ziploc uh, twist on container and I froze it. Of course, thanks to the magic of TV, here is an already frozen version. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that right here into my blender. In addition to that, I'm gonna add two ounces or 60 mils of the Crown Royal Deluxe Whiskey. And then typically, because when I'm, I'm gonna probably end up adding a little bit of ice to the blender as well. I'm adding just a spoonful here of Liquid Alchemist Simple Syrup because I know this drink is gonna end up needing a little bit more sweetness to it to offset the ice that I will put in it. So now I'm going to give this a spin. And once it's done spinning, I'm just gonna look for its consistency. And as I assumed, I'm just gonna add a little bit of ice in here on top and give it another spin to the blender. And there you have it. Now that it's time to take it out of the blender. Now I like to use my very inexpensive blender here. If you, if you use a better one, you won't have the problem that I have. So I'm gonna use the spoon uh, as well to help pour this drink into the cup. 
and there it goes it fits nicely right inside of this 14 ounce plastic cup and there you have the frozen crown and cola as well Alrighty, i'm gonna go ahead and try these two out here is the ottawa apple everything's there i can taste the cranberry i can taste the crown royal maple I didn't think just a half an ounce of that apple was gonna do the job, but it's there exactly where it needs to be. And just easy drinking, delicious. Um, I think I did a better job than how it was made at Disney, simply because this is less cloying to me. Not sure what I did here or what they did there, uh, but this is a nice and refreshing version thereof. Moving on over here to the frozen Crown Royal and Cola. I'm definitely glad I added a little bit of that Liquid Alchemist Simple in here because of course, this drink would have been a little less flavorful than it is right now. Just really, really, really good. What you would imagine from drinking a whiskey with frozen cola, that is exactly what this tastes like. Now, uh, we are gonna move on with more of these episodes of Epcot on Master Glass. So, why don't you do me a favor? Subscribe if you have not yet. Give me a thumbs up if you, in fact, liked this episode. And go ahead and find me again on Master Glass with me, Livio Laro, where you get expert instruction for everyday consumption.